how to use the microphone. You, in order to use the microphone, shown here, you need to use the LabQuest sensor to plug in. A Go Link will not work. It looks like this. You'll plug in the microphone here, you'll plug in USB to your computer here, and you need to plug it into power for the battery. So first we'll have Logger Pro and it gives you generic graph. Right now I'm going to plug in the USB lab quest with a microphone attached. Plug it in, we wait a few seconds. Do I want this old data? Of course I don't. And it loads it up like this and it tells me that the decibel level is 267 decimals. Which is quite worrying because 140 is a threshold of pain, 120 are jet engines taking off. So the number should be right now around 40. 30 to 40, that's what it should be. So the microphone does not give you a decibel level. What it can give you is the frequency of sound. So the first thing we have to do is tell Logger Pro what sensor we plugged in. So I'm going to go to Setup Sensors, and I'm going to go to LabQuest 1. And it thinks it's a sound level sensor, which is wrong. So I'm going to choose Sensor, Microphone. Okay. Now it gives us other things. It's actually measuring sound pressure. That's how sound actually works, but it's not in decibels. The next thing you want to do is it's recording for 0 0.03 of a second. That's quite small. You might want to record for maybe two seconds or five seconds. Okay, I'm going to say three seconds. Why not? Done. And I'm going to record. La la la. And it gives me this. I can zoom in, I can see it's all kind of wavy, like we expect things might be. But it doesn't really help me. I want to actually get the frequency of the sound. I get in there from this wave, is a little bit of work, but fortunately the computer will do that work for us. What we need to do is something called a fast for your transformation, and that's abbreviated FFT. So I'm going to say insert additional graphs, FFT graph. Now what it will do, it will look at the area I selected, it will do a bunch of math very fast, because the fast for your transformation, and it'll tell us the different frequencies that it heard. Then you could try to read that. That's difficult. So it's going to double click the graph. I'm going to choose legend and I'll turn on peak frequency and it will tell me what the peak frequency is. So the peak frequency is between 683 to 688. So that's right there. Let's do a little test. Let's go to our online tone generator. And I'm going to set this to 400 hertz. And say play. Let's get ready. So it's at play. Go to Logger Pro. You can see that Logger Pro thinks it's between 400 to 405, so it's pretty good. Since it's giving you two numbers for the range, if you want to find maybe what the, the average value of those two numbers is. Okay, so that's how you can easily get frequencies.